Beep, beep, everybody. As if you saw my last video, we had to do voiceovers because I had an audio malfunction. And we're continuing the voiceovers with this video and probably for the next 10, maybe 12 more videos. I did a, a marathon of them when I had a lot of time and I was planning on releasing them every two or three days after that. But now I have to do voiceovers to so you can <laughs> listen to what I'm doing. So we're opening up a pack or a, a blaster box of 2021 Bowman Platinum, seven packs plus one extra packs or four cards per pack. Four exclusive ice foil parallel cards are in this blaster box. And while we're perusing this, I think the problem had to do with a connection between my microphone and my phone. Uh, I checked the microphone it works perfectly fine. I checked the microphones on the phone and those work fine. So it's the cable between the two. And I found debris in my lightning port. And I have since cleaned it and did a test run and it seems to be working again. So after these dozen or so videos, we will uh, try it out again and have spontaneity return to them. So we're opening up the box and I'm trying not to talk directly into the microphone because I noticed in the last video I had a lot of popping every time I said a word with the letter P or B in it. And hopefully that's been minimized while I talk over the microphone. I don't have one of those shields. Um, I've used a piece of paper in the past but where I'm sitting it's a little difficult to sit here with the microphone in my hand and a piece of paper but that will work so I'm struggling to get this open which is probably the primary theme of this channel is how to get these blasted things open and there we go So we start off with Yon Mankata. I apologize for my mispronunciation. This one's going to be difficult. Jack Kochanowitz. Um, maybe Kochanowicz. In Polish, the you know the the ending would be Vich. And I think on the original recording, I am still struggling with <laughs> trying to figure out that last name. And here's one of those ice foil parallels of Whit Merrifield. And there's a cool effect when you, you move it around. And I am trying not to look at it too closely because I don't want to make any chicken sounds like I did in the previous video. This one is I don't find as hypnotizing. It kind of looks like Whit Merrifield is inside a snow globe. And we're still waiting for me to move on I guess I checked to see if it was numbered and it is not Freddie Freeman is the next card and the last one of that pack so while we're trying to open up this pack the word of the day is patent and a sentence oh, I'm not really timing this very good Francisco Lindor uh, Gage Workman. And while I'm looking at the back there, the sentence for the day using the word patent is, I applied for a patent for wiggling around. And there's a rookie card of Nate Pearson. And there's Anthony Rizzo. So 
So I only bought one of these blaster boxes because I believe these were $35. And I believe I bought this at Walmart uh, during the off season. And this was the only stuff you could find was leftovers from the previous season. And every week there would be more stuff like this. And most of this video seems to be trying to get the packs open. There's a rookie card of Clark Schmidt. Uh, Slade, Slade Ciccone. Um Slade, if you're out there, can you help me with that pronunciation by leaving a comment? And there's an ice foil parallel of Spencer Torkelson. And I'm amused by the movement of the whatever you want to call that stuff. And we're looking at the back of it and I'm not sure what I'm talking about on the original video. After doing a dozen of these, it's hard to remember. And that was Raphael Devers, who I spent very little time on. Uh, I believe this is the third pack. You can sort of see in the distance, I have a Kellogg's Raisin Brand truck on the right, which is in and out of focus while the pack gets too close to the camera. And on the left is a Frosted Mini Wheats truck. And I picked those up at an antique store um, for like about three bucks each. There's a rookie card of Joey Bart. And there's Jeremy De La Rosa. And you see most, almost every card in here has a sort, sort of a rainbowy effect on it. Is Mile Mania? Uh, help me with that. That's a meteoric insert set and I showed you the back of that card and there's Geraldo Perdomo rookie card who's a little bit on sideways with that throw so let's struggle with the next pack And there's Spencer Howard rookie card. Player I am not familiar with. There's Hyun Il Choi. Uh, I would appreciate a pronunciation correction if I was wrong about that. And Andres Jimenez rookie card on the ice foil parallel. Again, it looks like he's in a snow globe. And we finished the pack with Trevor Story. So apparently I paused here to um, send a plastic purple toilet across the screen. Um, that's curious. And we struggle to get this thing open. <laughs> it's almost hilarious. This is embarrassing. Oh, I think I finally got it open. It's almost like trying to open up a stomach. <laughs> And there's Max Kepler, followed by Hedbert Perez and M. Luciano. And I think we'll flip it over to find out what his first name is. And it is Marco. Marco Luciano. 
and I'm noticing that the number is PE19, so it's an insert set. And we've moved on to Garrett Cole to finish off the pack. And second to last pack. Again, these uh, packs are clearly child proof. As um, you can tell that I can't get them open. Um, it's well known that child proof packaging is also adult proof. Or adults that are still children cannot open them. And I would probably fall under that category. And here's Clayton Kershaw. Who's having a pretty good season this year. And I'm pointing at, I don't know what. And I'm still pointing somewhere. And I'm not sure what I'm talking about. We're still talking about Clay. Oh, we moved on. Alfonso Rivas. And there's Kyle Harrison inside a snow globe. He looks like he's in the middle of a dance move. And I think I'm looking on the back to determine who he is, and I don't know. And there's Kbert Ruiz, rookie card. And while I'm doing the voiceover, I think my video paused briefly, so we might be out of sync, but we'll find out in the end. And I think it's I think it would be rather funny to be out of sync. It would be a very confusing video and I'm sure most people aren't real thrilled about a confusing video, but for some reason I get a kick out of them. And there's Cody Bellinger holding out his bat like it was a sword and ready to battle, I assume, another player with a sword bat. And there's Jake Vogel, or Vogel. Ice foil of Shane Bieber. And that one's numbered out of 250. And it looks like there's a, a bit of a different shade of color behind him. Maybe a greenish color. So if you know what kind of a parallel this is, please leave a comment. I may eventually do the research on this at some later date when I try organizing these into my PC and I should know by then if no one has left a comment so please feel free to comment on anything you like and there's Paul Goldschmidt who's having an MVP of a season this year maybe the best year of his career um, and although um, everyone thinks Mike Trout is the obvious Hall of Fame player that's active in the middle of his career, Paul Goldschmidt is next behind him. And I think that's what I was discussing in the original video. Um, so a lot of his cards are still affordable. Um, I am by no means an investor, but if you want to get these at a good price... Now would probably be a good time. And you could take that recommendation with a grain of salt, but with Trout's rookie card, you know, over a thousand dollars and Goldsmith's under a hundred, yeah, now would be the time to get it. And here I am introducing a little plastic robot that came from Australia. My wife gets, um, these toppers for her chini base is made by this lady and she sends along these robots along with the package and I get the robots. 
So I see we're at the 15 minute mark. We have about a half minute left according to my BLC media player. So I don't know what I'm talking about in this video. I'm probably discussing how much I like these cards and I do like them. They're, they were very nice. So I'm going to apologize for the technical difficulties and hopefully I won't have as much popping in the peas. So um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day. Beep beep everybody.